A Tale of the Guam Kingfisher, written by Ruthie Daly and Brendan Vogel, illustrated by Beata Wolak and Anj Coffey, dedicated to the Philadelphia Zoo and the Guam Kingfisher. There once was a bird who lived in Guam. This great little birdie, his mama named him Tom. The Guam Kingfisher is a small bird native to the island of Guam. Currently, the kingfisher is extinct in the wild. It weighs typically two to three ounces and is about eight inches tall. The kingfisher usually feeds and nests in woodland or limestone environments on the island. These little birdies lay eggs many meters off the ground. When they're in the air, they're safe and sound. The Guam kingfisher lays eggs in tree cavities three to eight meters off the ground to protect their young from predators. However, the destruction of trees in Guam has had a large impact on the population of these birds. Less trees means less habitable nesting areas for the kingfishers, which contributed to their extinction in the wild. The kingfisher can only lay two eggs at a time, which made it extremely difficult to repopulate when deforestation caused the population numbers to plummet. On a ship came a brown snake whose name was Sage. This little brown monster had so much rage. Brown tree snakes were thought to be introduced to Guam sometime after 1944, which was after World War II. They most likely came on ships from neighboring Ireland, Papua New Guinea. The Guam kingfishers were declared extinct in the wild in 1982. The snakes are an invasive species, so they disrupted the entire ecosystem of Guam when they preyed on the birds. Not only has the brown tree snake caused the extinction of of the Guam kingfisher, it has wiped out 10 to 12 of the native birds area to Guam. The native bird species to Guam. The few remaining birds are forced to live in small areas protected by snake traps. The lack of birds that eat arachnids has caused the spider population to skyrocket. Presently, there are so many spiders that it is impossible to walk through the Guam forest without constantly knocking away spider webs. The humans had a big war, they didn't know what was in store. Not only did they harm each other, they destroyed something more. From 1944 to 2017, the brown tree snake's population in Guam has gone from 0 to 2 million. There are currently about 13,000 individual snakes per square mile. This invasive species has caused a lot of damage, not only to the Guam kingfisher population, but to trees and the island's electrical systems. The destructive am animal has caused 4.5 million in damage over the past seven years. The snake is also severely harming the plant life in Guam. Because the snake has wiped out so many species, there are no birds to spread seeds across the forest floor. Fewer than 10% of fruit tree seeds are making it farther than the vicinity of their parent tree. The, to the land of Guam to the, and the land of Tom, they brought the snakes and destroyed the calm. In addition to the brown tree snake, other factors caused by humans might have played a role in the Guam kingfisher's extinction in the wild. This includes the destruction of natural habitats or the contamination of their prey by hazardous waste in the water. Sage didn't care about the birdies, not one little bit, so she and all her friends ate all the birds lickety split. These photographs show Guam kingfishers eating their prey. In the wild, they have a carnivorous diet of large terrestrial insects and small vertebrates. This includes grasshoppers, cicadas, skinks, anoles, worms, geckos, and crabs. Kingfishers hunt by sitting motionless on tree branches and then suddenly swooping down to capture prey with the beaks, their beaks, off the ground or nearby foliage. Then, the birds use their beaks to beat their prey to death against a hard surface, such as a tree, before swallowing it whole. Some types of the Guam kingfisher's prey, such as crustaceans, have been endangered or reduced because of global warming. This threatened a source of food for the kingfishers, which was another reason they went extinct in the wild. They live on the ground, so they were easy prey. The fillies who rescued them so they can come back one day.
There are currently 160 kingfishers left in existence. Guam kingfisher left in existence. The birds have to live in various zoos because they are no longer able to live in their natural habitat due to the brown tree snake and deforestation. One is the Philadelphia Zoo in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The zoo currently holds nine Guam kingfishers and has one breeding pair. The zoo is playing an important role in the conservation of this critically endangered species and it hopes to reintroduce the kingfisher to the wild one day. At the zoo, the kingfishers are fed mice and fish. These little birdies have a very specific dish. At the Philadelphia Zoo, kingfishers are fed baby mice or pinkies, lizards and insects on a daily basis to supplement what they no normally eat in Guam. This is a baby Guam kingfisher being fed insects by hand at a this is a baby Guam kingfisher being fed insects by a hand puppet at the zoo. This method is used to feed babies without you, the parents. This is a baby Guam kingfisher being fed insects by a hand puppet at the zoo. This method is used to feed babies without parents to do the job. Now you and all, now, now you and your friends must spread the word. To help save Tom, our favorite bird. Help spread awareness. A big part of why so many Guam kingfishers went extinct in the wild was because of the climate change and deforestation. You can help by informing others about the problems for the Guam kingfisher and hundreds of other species affected by this global issue. Try to reduce your carbon footprint by recycling and not wasting electricity and water. Plant trees in your community to replace the thousands that are cut down every day. This way, we can save the Guang Kingfishers one bird at a time.